everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day Auto Survival. Today we return to boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, absolutely a fan fantastic day of the most amazing variety. And today we got something brand new coming out from Kafir. Without further ado, boom! What you guys are seeing right here and right now is part of their under development section that they do every single Thursday. So make sure you guys are staying tuned every Thursday for a little bit of a look into this. And what you guys are seeing right here appears to be part of the hub, which was shown actually last week during the development which is going to be this location that is like going to kind of like be the central settlement location being worked upon and it appears that it's quite the big work in progress because this is the second week in a row that Kafir has posted about it and there's going to be quite some dopeness behind it but let's go ahead and talk about what we are seeing here so this was posted with the caption hello survivors lately in the hashtag under development section we showed you the concept of the hub the territory of which is going to include a few interesting objects and the thing is that it's becoming more and more diverse for example one of the entertainment activities will be turkey racing where you will be able to have fun and even earn some extra cash and what you guys are seeing in front of us is a sketch of that exact turkey racing a concept art of it now you are seeing multiple players you might be like oh so this might be a multiplayer location well we don't quite know that this is going to be multiplayer signs even though like there, there are signs pointing towards it being more of a single player location since so far all multiplayer stuff happens in sector 7 where you need like some kind of protective suit on and so far this hasn't looked to be at all like that so it's appearing to be some sort of like NPC location that would probably be the easiest to do when it comes to like betting on turkey races for example and then last week we were able to find out that they are also going to be things like a zombie gladiator arena for example so it appears that the hub is going to be filled with all sorts of activities you can go ahead and do and probably you're going to be able to go ahead and bet on them do some mini games hopefully as well it would make a lot of sense for us to be able to do trading on a larger scale over there and maybe be able to swap things back and forth but whatever it is the hub is shaping up to be this large central settlement type location that will be able to house quite a few npcs that i can't wait to go ahead and make my way over to whether we're going to be playing a mini game like this and the turkey racing and the way the turkey racing is going to go is probably just going to choose which turkey that you want to bet on and if you get like and if you win for example you'll get something back whether you'll be able to bet items for example maybe you'll be able to bet in-game coins which would be kind of cool to see whatever it is in some way shape or form we're going to be needing to bet on one of these and similarly to the zombie arena that we did learn about last week when they were revealing uh that that's probably going to be the same way you bet on a zombie you think is going to win so there's going to be a variety of these types of like little side activities you can do but i'm still holding out hope that there's going to be other bigger picture things over there such as the ability to get quests from npcs over there since this is going to be such a big central location there's probably going to be a lot of stuff happening on over there and i'm still crossing my fingers that we might be able to see a little something known as the battle royale arena since this appears to be because the way that they worded it before is that this is where they want to put all the fun ideas all the awesome ideas they've had that haven't necessarily had a specific place that necessarily makes sense and you know i guess like you know within in an area in a town in a settlement like this where there's civilization you know like it's probably a bit more civilized than the super hardcore survival we'll out we're out here doing in the middle of nowhere fighting other raiders like over in that civilization it's probably kind of like kind of a society going on they kind of do stuff for fun and stuff and i don't know betting on turkeys racing around some zombies beating the crud out of each other that seems pretty reasonable so the context of the town does give it like a little bit more reason because let's be honest like at least it makes a little bit of sense there like if you just saw a random turkey racing location that'd be pretty wild it'd be kind of fun if there's just like a giant racetrack though and you just had some dudes like taking up turkey residence but what i'm still crossing my fingers for is what we've seen in jurassic survival before which is mad dogs arena the battle royale and uh, i mean it might have a place here maybe you're able to bet you're going to be able to like provide like pay to get in paid not pay not like pay with money you know what i mean but like maybe like have an entry fee like you got to give an item or something you got to give like some coins you get a free entry kind of like how they did in jurassic survival every single day and then you know if you win you'll get a reward based off that and kind of given the way that they're kind of talking this up i'm crossing my fingers and i am hoping that we will be seeing such a battle royale arena over there because if there's ever a time ever a place for it to happen an area like this would make
make the perfect amount of sense. So with all of that known, go ahead and let me know what you guys think of this bad boy in that comment section down below. And even another thing I'd really love to hear from y'all is what types of activities would you like to see out of this? Let's also go ahead and get y'all the bunker code for today. If my computer decides not to have a nuclear meltdown first, 59224 is going to be today's code. And we're actually going to be making our way over to the bunker as well because we got a floppy to go ahead and cash in. And then we got a raid. We got to get a bootays over to as well. Also, we got to go ahead and talk to these dudes really quickly. There you go. I gave him a hat. He likes hat. He's a hat collector. You know, he's, he's a civilized human being or something like that. And then again, he is sending us to literally attack other human beings and steal their stuff. So maybe a bit less civilized, but you know, he likes hats. That's what I'm trying to get across. All right. If you like hats, you can't be an evil human being. It's a, it's a fact of life. Just kidding. I don't think a hat will give you evil immunity. But what do I know? I ain't a hatologist. But I'd love to hear what you guys got to say about this location, about turkey racing, about the hub in general as we're learning more about the types of activities that could be over there. Or even another thing I'd love to hear from y'all would be what other activities, what else do you think could be present? What else would you like to see present over at the hub? Because it's really shaping up to be a very unique location compared to what we've seen out of last day so far. And ooh la la, we got a little bit of the destroyed convoy to head on over to maybe we'll find a chopped off finger and we could cash it in over at the bunker so we'll be doing that but there's just so much that could be coming out of it you know out of the hub and it's just such a unique location because it's not going to be based on going over there and messing stuff up like it's going to be based on kind of some of those side activities but i don't think it's going to be just side activities because that'd be a weird location if it's only side activities like i think it's going to be civilization there's going to be a lot of different npcs a lot of different ai a lot of different you know computer controlled people right and i think it just makes sense that you know that's maybe when the quest line system is incorporated and we can actually get quests specifically from certain npcs from certain people for example and then even like i'm saying man the battle royale if there's ever a time for battle royale to be added into this bad boy it's gonna be with the hub and kafir plus if you're listening to this let me just say i think we would all love such a thing so uh please do this yeah it would make all of us as a happy campus and a happy camper is a good time yeah a camper yeah 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 oh toxic abomination no worries i'll go ahead and take you down below let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below and a reminder that comment is gonna put you one third of the way it's the way twelve dollar i do such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button and make sure to subscribe that will let sure you win on today's video y'all go ahead and enter in on every single last day on our video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and set we would for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information such as that which we have to share today about those coming updates although the hub might be a little bit further out there are a couple of upcoming updates though that we're definitely trying to stay on top of we have the clan base slash train station which has been being teased a lot that and the gas station which are appearing to be the two nearest updates what's the exact order there's some signs pointing more towards the train station slash clan base kind of coming first actually but we're gonna need to go ahead wait and see ultimately how it goes but whatever it is i'm just excited to get my grubby little fingers on these bad boys so we're gonna be staying up to date on all that info and of course as soon as they come out themselves you know we're gonna be all over those bad boys trying to check out anything everything freaking whatever imaginable about that update we're gonna be showing it off we're gonna be checking it out and we're gonna be making sure that you guys let's freaking go i got a finger i've never been so excited to get a decapitated finger in my life but we're going to make sure that you guys stay in the loop on that. And of course, as soon as that update comes out, we're going to be showing off anything and everything about it. So you know what to expect when you decide to dive in yourself. And of course, because update time is the hypest time. And I don't know, man, we got some big updates in the works that we're still waiting on. The 8CV Swamp update. Oh, mama, that is going to be a game changer. But the gas station update is going to be coming along with the motorcycle. Not to be confused with the chopper. The motorcycle, an entirely new like form of trans. I don't know if it's going to be entirely new because it's kind of similar to the chopper but it's going to be a different type of vehicle than what we're used to seeing in some way shape or form it's going to be distinct from the chopper that's what signs are pointing to so the gas station update is really shaping up to be cool of course the multiplayer bad boy hold on we got to go ahead and urinate and spread some vitamin p super quickly but 
Just some very good stuff, man. We got some great stuff, and I'm trying to stay in the loop on it and keep y'all in that loop as well. We're like a loop-de-loop -loop out here. Oh, my God. We, we're like a shoe. Oh, man, we're making SpongeBob proud. Loop-de-loop -loop and pull, kids. <laughs> Remember. But, yeah, and, of course, that notification bell is a great way of staying up to date with every single video y'all can enter and unfold that weekly giveaway. And, of course, all the other dope survival games we are checking out on the channel, just like we're checking out the junk in this military dude's trunk. Actually, no, that sounds weird. In this military Jeep's trunk it says military boxes that is not a box my dude that is definitely a car unless maybe i'm i don't know i'm not a carologist i'm not a boxologist maybe i got something mixed up confuzzled but all that i know is that hopefully not hopefully we are definitely from that floppy disk gonna be up in our c4 supply which means that today's raid has the potential to be very juicy we got one c4 currently and that is way too far away i was thinking about it we got one C4 currently, and once we cash in this floppy disk, since a floppy disk guarantees two C4, we're gonna be moving up to the realm of three C4, which is... That's about enough to get you into some pretty tough bases, and hopefully... I mean, it's not... No, it doesn't always end up this way, but... Tougher bases got a better chance at having better loot, you know? Because if you got good loot, you're probably trying to protect it. You know, you ain't gonna be coming across no level one wooden shack housing multiple floppy disks. But if you find a stone labyrinth, a stone fortress, maybe, maybe. Although at the end of the day, like C4 just makes a lot of noise too, which makes it a little bit poopy. I don't know. Only time will tell. But hokey dokey, let's go and say hello, Mr. Specialist. How do you do? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, how about you go ahead and lead me to a pretty good floppy disk today? Does that sound good? Does this sound reasonable? Can we come to terms on such a thing? I need some new pantalones, by the way, so that'd be kind of cool as well. But seriously, man, that hub, I just need that location. It's going to be so awesome. I don't know. There's going to be like, it's just going to be so different. And it's going to give Last Day on Earth a little bit of variety. Is it going to be my favorite location ever? I don't know, dude. Enemies bases are kind of my favorite. And it's going to be hard to replace that because pretty hard to replace the thrill and the loot of, uh, well, another person's base. But... I mean, it's, it's going to be fun to head on over there if you have a little bit of coinage you could spend, you know, because we don't know exactly how you're going to be able to bet on these things because that's probably the way that these mini games are going to work. You're going to bet and you're going to choose and then you got to see how that ends up. And dude, can I just say, oh my God, a million things just popped up. Dude, this is what I love. I was literally talking about this a year ago in Last Day on Earth, and we're finally coming to the point where things like this are possible. Just look at how densely populated the map looks like. Look at all the locations, the possible variety. When it starts coming to this game, I remember like a year ago, I was talking about that's the one thing I was excited about. More events and more locations popping up for things like this, where there's just a variety of stuff, a lot of stuff to do. And especially with these hollow, like holiday items and like holiday events, like this area over here is looking so dense. This area over here is looking rather thick as well. And uh, well, this area is looking kind of nifty. Ooh, 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 ooh. These things tend to be a peruti agood, so we'll make a pit stop. Ah, I forgot about the finger! God dang it, Bobby. All right, I'll save the finger for a rainy day. We'll get it next time because, I mean, uh, <laughs> God dang it, dude. I got too distracted by the floppy disk. The floppy disk, it's a beautiful thing, but its beauty is distracting. Let's leave it at that. No worries. We're going to uh, head on over to the bunker tomorrow anyways because we got to well, probably kill the big one again. Not the big one, the blind one. Dude, why'd they have to name them so similarly? I think there's like a three-letter difference between those two things. They even, like, each word starts with the same letter, you know? And, like, at the end of the day, all that's changing is a single adjective, you know? My, if my English t class taught me anything, it's that adjectives, while important... I, I don't know, man. They're both the one. They just so happen to be slightly different, the ones, you know? So it's kind of goofy like that. Hey, you broke my pantalones. I don't appreciate that, big boy. Me being the pantalous witch, the pantalones, the pantalones less witch. Holy tongue twister, Batman. I don't like the fact that you dare deprive me of my right to pantalones. And as such, I am stealing yours. Hope that's cool. And, uh, well, it is cool. Because you're dead now. You're done, no son. You can't really do much about it. Hello, pantalones upgrades. I know that we have these in our inventory, but nothing like stealing the pants off someone you just freshly murdered, you know? Oh my god, that sounds awful. Alrighty then, pistol right there. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, we probably want to grab a couple of these things instead over some of the poopier things that they dropped. This guy... Eh, he's never really got anything that valuable. I am starting to collect paints again, though. So, honestly, I have, like, hundreds of yellow tickets at home. 
When it comes to paint, however, I am not as bountiful. And these guys, eh, they got some, like, okay stuff here. I guess, eh, I'll, I'll get rid of those. I have a bajillion of those, too. And then, ooh, we could actually stack that up. And that's all good, because there's probably going to be some decent loot in at least one of these choppers. And if not, sucks to be us. And what ya know, what ya know, there is that decent loot I was uh, speaking of. Let's eat up them beans, collect that. We got a bag and a chopper to go. We got a floppy disk to go. And then, finally... We got a beautiful raid to go on. And I'll use up those band-aids. Nothing super stand out over there. Some semi-decent stuff, but hello! This is where the decency goes up a notch. Let's go ahead and hydrate plenty. I got plenty of water back at home, so that's all good. And I got plenty of plastic as well. And I, I like nuts and I got a lot of nuts. I'm starting to run a little bit low on iron, so I'll actually grab that. And okie dokie. We have a success. Our inventory is a little bit full, however, which is never ideal. But we still got this area to go to. And it might not even matter that we have a full inventory. Because there is the chance where we get an infected box, a.k.a. We got to bring that bad boy home. We got to give him a power wash. We got to bring out the power washer, dude. No, it's not a power wash. We got to bring out acid. Yes, a bath of acid. Not, not to be confused with a different type of acid there. I don't know what that different type of acid would do for a box. That box would be on, like, a next level or something, you know? <laughs> Let's take out these fast biters over here. And hopefully the mystical box that they protect. He protect, he attack, but most importantly, he snack. Oh, man, and now I'm thinking about snacks. I gotta go and chow down on something good. What's a good snack? I gotta come up with some healthier snacks, man. Whenever I'm hungry, whenever I'm hangering, pangering for... A, I don't know, that's not a word. Let's just pretend it is. Whenever I'm hangering for a snack... I don't know, man. I just grabbed, like, a small little, like, small little chocolate pretzel. Only a single one. I'm not trying to snack too hardcore here, right? A single chocolate pretzel. And it's probably not the worst thing in the world. So it's only one chocolate pretzel. But still, I feel like I should substitute that for something better. At the same time, I am out of fruit. So maybe I should actually go to the grocery store and cop some fruit. Some blubberries? Oh, I love me to blub. That's the best blub in the world. Maybe some strawberries? Something like that? Hashtag sponsored by strawberries. Hello! Looks like we do not need to check out what's over here. I don't think strawberries are actually sponsored in this video, by the way, guys. It's just a meme. Just a meme. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag I love what I'm seeing. This is right here. We're going to be getting two more C4. And here's the thing. I'm just going to come back here. I'm grabbing the best stuff. First, okay, first thing, let's take all so we can stack anything that can stack. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to run over. We got to put a couple of things away. Over in the chopper here that I'm gonna run back. I might swap out a couple things. I just like to always bring usually like if there's something far and away better than something else. So for example, if there's C4, I'll swap some things out for the C4. Don't get me wrong. But uh Yeah, I just want to see what else we could grab here. And then worst case, I'm not leaving nothing behind, guys. I could easily walk over here after the episode. We have 12 hours to go, but we also have some very nice things like uh oh no, I'm trying I'm trying to keep that witch hat. Might as well toss on the newest of armors. I mean, why not? Let's definitely grab the freshest of items over there. And uh, eh, I'll leave that behind. I'll come back for you. I'll leave the shoes behind. I'll grab those, toss them into our inventory right over there. And I'll grab this for now. And then the rest of you, no worries, let's. I'll be coming back. I ain't leaving behind. We even do even. Ah, we have a lens here too. I'm coming back for you, glue. And then these shoes, eh. Eh, I'll, I'll take that pristine helmet off your hands. Actually, I'll take that copper and I'll get it schmelting. Let's be a little bit productive here. All right, good enough. Like I'm saying, at the end of the day, I, I shouldn't be too picky. We're coming back, Fred. I just want to grab a couple of the things that we could get schmelting back at home. But speaking of back at home, I will meet you guys back at home when we are a little bit more prepared for that little thing known is the raid. And with an inventory filled to the brim with some raiding goodies, let's go and see what today's raiding assignment adds a little bit of a cost and a couple of tears rolling down my wallet's face. Never knew my wallet had a face until today, but then I saw tears coming from it and I was like, whoa, let's talk to those raiders and let's see who is going to be today's unlucky victim and hopefully our lucky source of loot. Alrighty, player 8129, looks like you're today's lucky victim, I mean not victim, uh, today's lucky guest upon Papa Star's 100% friendly and not at all the uh, home burglarly sh game show. As your prizes, I'm visiting your home. 
while you're away. Yeah, no, no worries. Just, uh, just doing my checkup. You know, I'm like those house hunters. I'm, 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 I'm the real estate agent. You know, you didn't even know you were selling your house till today, but I'm gonna get you a great deal on it. All right, and or maybe commit some insurance fraud here because you know you can call the post-apocalyptic insurance agency and be like, hey, video evidence of Papa Star breaking into my home. I don't know if they'll give you anything back, but uh, hey, worth a shot. And it appears that we might have a multiple base complex to break into today. Very cool, very cool, but not very big, unfortunately. But yeah, man, that that hub, I'm just so excited for it. Like, from the peaks that they've been showing, like, we gotta see exactly how big it'll be, but it, they, they're, like, showing, like, some locations that look like there might be, like, a marketplace over there. Oh, man, there's, there's just so much good stuff coming. I seriously, we, I need some new updates. So don't get me wrong, I love the Halloween update, but I can't wait until, well, I, I don't know. The Halloween update, it could have had better loot. Like, it was fun, but, eh. We don't get to keep our holiday items, which is poopy, because Westland Survival, you get to keep your items. Grimsoy, you get to keep your items, but not last day on Earth. For whatever reason. Knock knock. Who's there? Party o'clock. And we got three chests to go ahead and break into. And then we're about to have a whole ton of zombies to go ahead and break the faces of. With the help of, well, bullets. So I don't know if we're really going to be breaking their faces. But we're going to be disfiguring them. Okay, there we go. My dude was not sprinting. I was a clicking. But my guy was not a sprinting. Okay, let's try to take a couple of these guys down. Look at his split. Oh, let's not let the... Floater bloater catch up to us. He's gonna do a little bit more damage and there we go from here Just employ some of those turn and burn tactics Ensure that they do not catch up to us and just take them out noise easy and especially peasy Number one down and let's go and take down numero dos. Come on floater bloater. Do your thing drop on dead <laughs> There we go very nice. And what do we have within here? We got the goods. Thank you for that electronic circuit. And thank you for... I was getting a little bit parched. Thank you for that very tea. Oh, ha Reginald, I appreciate the tea mightily. Why did I say Reginald? I don't know. Seems like a British name and tea's pretty British. So I don't know. I'm not... You, you don't gotta be British to drink tea. Don't get me wrong. I drink a lot of tea and I can quite tell you that I am not British despite my best attempts with that ax... Uh, access. Despite my best attempts with that accent, I I am not. But, ooh, I am the owner of three shiny new gas cans that we could hopefully do something nifty with. And we should be able to break into that portion of the base rather cheaply as well. And we will see what this contains for us. And then we'll be making our merry way back on home. A tool was broken. Okay, well, is this going to... Oh, are you serious? Dang, so he... I, I think he was working on, like, another steel safe room. Oh, not steel, that's that's not steel, that's stone. He was working on another stone safe room here, but it does appear that he didn't really manage to finish that. So, kind of sucks for you, big boy, but also kind of sucks for us because he wasn't really storing anything super valuable. He, he didn't really have... Ah, eh, we could still check those two. He is making all of this stone, after all, so he might have some oak hidden away still, so, yeah... Let's go ahead and do that breaking and entering, and we are definitely going to have to deal with one final wave of Zambies, but we're not going to have to deal with the... Eh, we might break into that, so we might have to deal with the third wave. All that I know is that we definitely got to... Let's get to sprinting over here so we can separate ourselves a little bit better than usual, just so we don't get caught up to them. We can minimize the damage that they inflict upon us. Eh, they're probably going to get a couple of shots off there. Okay, let's finish this guy off before he gets his hit. Get a couple more turn and burns. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, that minimized the damage they did to us. And then we're going to blow through that pistol. Open up another weapon slot, but an inventory slot subsequently. But I don't think it's going to matter. Actually, I might not even open up an inventory slot because, well, no, we could just toss one of our hatchets into there. But still, we haven't really found any weapons during this raid, unfortunately. A lot of unfortunate things happening today, but at the same time, hey, we got a great look at the hub. The stuff to expect out of that. I don't know, man. I just think it's gonna be really cool. I've been saying that for quite a minute. You guys probably heard plenty of it, but it's just gonna be interesting to see how like all of these side activities are incorporated, you know? And I really think that there's gonna be more than just side activities. You don't make an entire, like it's a freaking settlement. This is gonna be our first ever like civilization, friendly civilization we can visit. You know, with a variety, a plethora of NPCs. And I, I think like, you know, some shops, some trading seems pretty reasonable. 
some betting on mini games and stuff they've already said and activities potentially other activities that won't necessarily be betting or anything like that i'm crossing my fingers that hopefully that'll come in the form of the battle royale because yes please i had so much fun with that in jurassic survival and uh please make it happen if there's ever a time to make it happen kafir now is the time and i think we would all love it especially if it worked similarly to how it did in jurassic survival if you guys didn't know jurassic survival you got a prize every time if you finish top three, you got an even better prize. Top two, even better. Top one, the best prize imaginable. And every single day, you got a free play as well in the form of a dog tag, which you could also buy if you wanted to, but every day you got one for free. You got prizes. It was just, I don't, man, it was just, uh, it's just awesome to be able to do like side activities like that. And the Battle Royale one was just so much fun. So hopefully they, I mean, they're incorporating similar stuff with these activities, but Battle Royale was such a great activity. I'm really hoping that that's there. Let me know what you guys think, like I was saying, what activities you would like to see, what activities you think will be a common, and anything, and everything along those lines. And we haven't really, there's not really anything that amazing in this raid, unfortunately, so I'll probably just do a little bit more clean up here. I don't, I don't even know what I want to grab, man. That's how mediocre this is. Uh, I get we could... I like grabbing stacks of stuff usually. This, I don't know, at this point, that might get us uh, electronic circuits, so that's kind of worth it. Um, yeah, let's just try to get as much iron as we can from that. And we got one more slot. Let's try and figure out what to take with that. I, I guess I could take some stone. We could make some base repairs at home. Although our base hasn't been broken into yet. We got to prepare to go on a raiding spree so we can actually get our skulls back. Because every time, man, we've yet to get revenge raided. The single skull life... It's a tough life, but with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping up for this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Get in the trap of gas tank and join in the chopper squadron. Best of luck, bring your pup. Get in the true friend perk, leveling up your own perks and skills. Not to mention, find the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best guns that you got. Best of luck building up your base and going out on the dopest of raids. Defeating all the boss of the game has to throw at you. Getting past the multiplayer wall. And most important of all, having yourselves. An absolutely fan fantastic time all throughout. Not to mention best luck in the giveaway. And I cannot wait to hear your guys' thoughts about the hub. Any and all of that type of jazz. And of course, I can't wait to dive into that bad boy myself. I seriously think that there's like, there's got to be other stuff they're not revealing about it, right? It's just too, dude, I don't know. It's literally going to be like a settlement. We've never seen anything like that in last day. Maybe that's why I'm super hyped for it. Maybe you guys sharing that hype, whatever it is. Let me know. That's going to do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hope this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.